Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 20 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Decisions have been made. Before I move into February 2, and before the snow comes again, I have got a 9 metre shipping container. I'm going to take advantage of the uh, great demand. I have moved my cable yarder over even further. It's now going over to a large tree right atop hill over there, which will allow me to do some of these. I brought everything down to the bottom of the hill because I've been doing some of the trees down here and I'm going to do some to the right as well to make life a little bit easier. I am going to, between now and February 2, off camera, deliver another load of ore because the decision that has been made, we have reached. We are farming people, we are going to be doing some farming. I've also got to buy the fancy furniture factory because I need to do uh, tables and chairs. I'm going to need those later on in the process for um, the roller coaster. I've done it again. The person that sent me the message telling me I needed to do that. I forgot to write down the name. Apologies if it was you. I'm so sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is deliver this. And then we're going to whiz down by the furniture factory. Because it requires planks and long planks. I've got some long planks up here. Which I can load up and I'll take down. Find the cables. And... Um, I've got short planks down there so I can take those. I can get some furniture underway as well. I'm going to buy some plots of land. And we're going to get some farming done. Actually, that's the thing I was going to check. I haven't looked to see what the situation is with regard to crops because it wasn't something I was going to do. Uh, crop types, growth. Oh, they are growing. Oh. So, I think I'm going to buy that plot there, because only 50 grand and that's grass. I want grass. I'm going to do cows. I'm going to do grass. I'm going to do um, some silage. Probably, mm, is that a silage bunker? Might do a bunker silo. Um, and I think I'm going to have to up upgrade my Riberi's fine for feeding the sheep, but not going to be so good if I'm going to do a load of silage. And I'm going to do hay. So the silage and hay, I'm not going to do, probably not going to do straw to pad it out. My total mix ration, I might do it. It depends. Um, this one's going to set me back 92 grand. Let's buy that. And that one's going to set me back 132 grand. Let's buy that. I bought some farmland. I haven't got field 26 yet. We'll get onto that. Are we looking financially? No, the snow's coming already. Wasn't supposed to be it till gone five. So, uh, just over 3,000. That's not bad for nine metre logs. One shipping container, 110 grand. That's put a bit of that money back for one of the fields I just bought. Um, so we're going to need some more farming equipment. I've got a tractor. I have changed the colour of my John Deere that I bought. I had it carbon fibre, but you couldn't really see it in any conditions. It was, you know, so I've gone for this kind of, it's a dark green. I wasn't just go for straight John Deere. I thought, no, nah, let's go for it. So I've gone for this sort of darker green. Am I going to do another load of logs before I move on? At that price, I'd be mad not to. We've just bought those plots. Oh, I need to whiz down. 
Right, let's whiz down. Because I'm going to do that as well. Um, before the snow settled, I decided, uh, as you've already seen, I think I showed it, using the, the various different rotating rotator cuffs. Um, that's, I keep calling those, but that's not what they're called. Um, for the wheel loader, I put a load of the offcuts in. So the offcuts have gone in. I'll find it in a minute. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. The Lizard Tilt Attached, I do it every single time. So with the Lizard Timber Carrier and the Lizard Tilt Attached by North Modding Company, I tipped into the wood chipper there. So I've brought up a trailer and I've got everything that was off the floor into there. That's full and I've got some on the belt. So I've got a load of wood chips that can be sold as well. I'm going to, I need to bring over the wheel loader. I'm going to load on my pallets long that I've got here. Take those down and then we're going to buy the fancy furniture store and we're going to get that place up and running. Yes, that's definitely what I'm going to do. So I'm going to see you in a minute. You've seen me load pallets before. Nothing unusual about that. Actually, that's not level, does it? Why is that not level? That one. There we go. My trailer was sitting a little bit high. That's a little bit better. Uh, should I put the lights on? Doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. Engine off. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. I'll get all these loaded up. We'll get them down, get the fancy furniture store. And at least that means as we go through from February 1 to February 2, I can get some being produced already. I'll probably set them on to distribution. Dis hmm, probably distribution, because they'll distribute straight to the um, roller coaster anyway. Makes sense to do that. And then... I'm going to plough out that section I was talking about up uh, away from my cotton field. So I'm going to plant grass in that. We'll wait for the crops to grow in the fields that we've just purchased. I'm going to do some uh, haymaking. I'm going to do some silaging. I want to, yeah, we're going to, just, we're going to do farming. The, the option was to move to a different map. I thought, no, I'm on here and I'm enjoying this map. So we're going to use logging to finance and pay for my life to the way I've become accustomed. That's what we're going to be doing. And then moving forward, if anything new comes out moving forward, then we might look at, we might look at moving to a different map later on. But I'm only, what, this is episode 20? I'm only 20, 20 episodes in. And I don't, I don't want to waste the map, you know? Does that make sense? I don't want to waste the map. Um, I think what I might do is... No, really lights on so yes we're staying put and we're going to do farming I've, I've missed it like I say it's no disrespect to the map it's no disrespect to the fact it's a logging map I've just missed doing the farming related jobs and things you know and also a few people messaged and said in, in the comments there's still other things I haven't done on here and it would be a pity not to do them so I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll stay. I'll do the other things I haven't done and we'll do fun. So, yeah. I have loaded up the long planks. I've come down and gathered all the planks that we had produced up to that point. They were all out. I haven't run that again. I've still got 156,000 litres of lumber in there ready to go. So what we're going to do is drive along... It's this road, isn't it? We're going to get ourselves a fancy furniture factory... And then, uh, if I don't put, if it doesn't take all of the planks, I will. Oh my god, that such a high beam. Uh, we're gonna just do the rounds with the planks I've got on here to make sure everywhere is topped up as it should be. And I'm pretty sure. I'm saying pretty sure. I think it's around the side is where this will need to go. We didn't buy this, did we? We haven't bought, bought this already. I'm pretty sure we have. So, 110 grand. Okay then. Let's see if it is here. It might, be, it might be across the front. I can't, I can't remember whereabouts it's actually takes somewhere. It could be across the back, of course. I thought I wouldn't put the uh, markers on because I wouldn't need them, but I might well do it. Let's try across the front first because it could be the pallet spawn across the back. I, I don't, I don't. There we go. Okay, it's pretty much taken everything. Okay, no more capacity for that but it will take the planks long they're all gone 
So what we'll do... Is... We don't want armoires. I don't think we want an armoire. We're going to do chairs and tables. So, chair... No, they're on. Don't want that on, don't want that on. Um, okay, they should all be running. And they'll get going, I assume, in a moment. Um, oh, actually, we've already got... Metal's already come in. I suppose because I've just bought it, and my metal is set to distribution. So I guess, yeah, it's just come here anyway. Uh, so that will process. And do I set them to distribution, or do I want to see some first? I want to see some. I want to see what they look like before I just set them all off. So what we'll do is we'll let that run next door to our spindle factory. That's at full capacity at the moment, so... Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, I'll do the rounds now and just deliver these off. Okay, this way. Take them to the two flooring factories, and then I'll just whiz over to the boatyard. I think... I'll double check. I think my uh, roller coaster is fully stocked, but it does not have a look. I'm not setting my planks on to distributing because I said that before. It's distributing them to my all in one production facility. Um, so I've got 43,000 litres of planks sitting in there at the moment. I've got that now producing furniture as well. So I've got regular furniture and now fancy furniture. Let's just whiz around to here, make sure this is stocked up. Capacity, okay, good to know. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll deliver an ore. I might do another shipping container of logs, only because the price is still good. And then I'll see you in the morning, I guess. And what I might do is I might do a time lapse of see how, how much roller coaster gets built overnight. I'm not sure how much will get built overnight, but I'm assuming some will. I've still got floor tiles was it or staircase runners? I think it was floor tiles over here that it wouldn't take and I just kind of dropped them off by the side because I thought it would make more sense. Okay, no more space there and then I'll whiz across and uh, deliver the last little bit, well it's not much here but to the boatyard. I'll see you in February too! Hopefully the snow doesn't settle and we can actually get on with some farming stuff. What I'll need to do is check on the situation with regard to the crops that are in the fields that I now own. Do they need any fertilisation? That's a very good point. I hadn't crossed my mind. I'm, I'm out of practice with my farming. How are we looking? Oh, okay. They look like they're fully fertilised, I think. Uh, or is that the second stage? No, they look like they're fully fertilised. Okay, we should be alright there. Cool, we're good with that. We'll let them go, right. I might run a little bit more just to make sure this is, this is um, fully stocked. Like I said, I just wanted to run another cycle and do one more boat and then I'll focus all my attention and my resources over to the uh, the roller coaster.
as you've already seen, February 2 was a complete bust. We made a bit of money uh, doing a few little jobs here and there, um, wood chip and iron ore and stuff like that. However, it snowed the entire day. The snow was on the ground the entire day. The snow was on the ground until about half past seven this morning, and then it went. I have bought my uh, Raptor with my stump grinder down here. There's a reason. I've also bought the um, tree harvester down. Our plots of land we bought in February, was it February 1? February 2, whatever it was, um, for doing farming, which we're going to move on to now, came with a caveat, a caveat I was unaware of. The feds are on me, man. I've got government work to do. They were just waiting. They were just waiting for someone to buy those plots of land. The trees all along where the railway is, um, a load of them have got to be removed. I have to remove them. They've been marked. I've just got to get rid of them. What we are going to do, though, is... First, I want to head off and have a look. I said I was going to check out the um, situation with regard to our tables and chairs. We'll see what we've got. I have switched over to distributing now. Distributing. Oh, see. Distributing. Distributing. Yeah. Um, and obviously the uh, roller coaster is progressing. We're still in the first year. When did we start? August, wasn't it? We're into our... Hmm. We haven't done a full year yet, but we are into our second year, technically, because we've gone past December into January. Here's a long year, isn't it? We're going to pick those up. I think our, our paper mill, our carton roll, and our paper roll, we've got one of each, I think, ready to go. They're worth a fair bit of money, actually. Uh, oh, that was something I was going to say. The fire station has invested in a new fire engine. They've had it imported from overseas. But they have a fire engine just in case they need it which i would think for a fire department they probably would how are we looking oh yeah we've got two of each that's pretty cool all i knew was it switched over um and it was uh producing the next of each i just wasn't sure how many we had here so what we'll do is we'll pop that down so jobs first i don't think any of my fields are ready to harvest yet Pretty sure they're not. Uh, we'll have a quick check. We'll have a quick check. I'll check on the sat nav. Um, oh, we are. I haven't got a harvest. <laughs> okay, then. That will give us wheat and straw swath, which we'll need collecting. We're going to need to get a loading wagon. Well, I'm going to get a loading wagon. I'm probably going to get a TARDIS, I think. Is it Omatana? Blizzard TARDIS, I think, XL. Uh, I want to get some mowers because I'm going to mow this field. I'm going to mow what I've got there. There are some other plots around as well that I'm thinking about getting. It'd be a bit more expensive. There's areas over here which I could turn into fields. There's this area here. There's an area here that are hillsides but they're nice open areas sort of grassland ish that we could um sort out i also want to plow what did i say my bit here i'm going to turn that into grass we're going to put grass seed down in there so i need a whole load of farming equipment i hadn't even thought about a harvester we'll have to lease one i'm trying to think if i've got that one we had on griffin indiana i loved that I, I just absolutely adored that case i thought it was brilliant but there's always that thing, I've said it so many times before, that thing of um, do you stick with equipment you like? And, I've, and I always say I, there'll be bits of equipment that I've used that I really, really like. And I will keep those bits of equipment in every Let's Play moving forward. Things like the CSZ pack stuff here, the big bag handle I was using before. There's a few bits that I will keep using. However, in the interest of keeping things fresh and, and a little bit different, how often do you swap out things, you know? It's so difficult because when you find, it's no different when, like when you go on holiday and you, you've got a holiday destination you go to, you love going to, you know it's great, you know what to expect, you know it's brilliant, and then someone says, oh, should we go somewhere different next year? And you stop and think, oh, I don't know. We could, it could be the best decision you've ever made, or, it could end up being the worst holiday you've ever had and you wish you'd gone to the other place. And that's the thing, isn't it? That's the dilemma. Do I get a different harvester and try something new, something different? Or do I stick with what I know 
because I know it works, I know I like it. I'm assuming I'm not the only one, I'm sure other people do the same thing. It's unfortunately a blessing and a curse of doing videos as well, is that there are a lot of people out there that will, you know, you'll, you'll find those bits and you'll stick to what you know, because you're playing for you and it doesn't matter what you use. But when you're making videos, there's that thing of, yeah, okay, we've seen you use that, we want to see you use something different now, and it's like, you know, what are you doing? I'll have a look and see what's available. I might have to have a bit of a scour around through the, uh, the brochures, but we've got harvesting potentially we could do. In this episode, I thought we'd have to wait. Doors and uh, chairs are looking good. I don't know how many it's going to take, but we'll, uh, we'll drop them off. It's quite heavy. I might do cart and rolls at the end of the episode, or I might do them start the next, I'm not sure. We'll go and collect them and see. Our paper, oh, I've completely forgotten about it. I've delivered some more lumber there because of the job I was doing that to the curb. Nope. Oh, stop it from tipping. There we go, just need to balance myself a little bit better. I've got a load more barrels, I forgot about the barrels, I should sort those out. So we're making staircase railings, we're making... God, that bloke looks like Captain Price from Call of Duty. Oh, a little bit, not, not quite so. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, staircase railings, tables, chairs, carton rolls, paper rolls, floor tiles. We're not doing shingles yet, are we? I'm well, we'll trying to think. To do I don't think we are. I'm not sure we're as straight as we can. Okay. I also want to get myself uh, mowers. I'm going to lease the Vicon fast bale. I'm going to do silage bales. I was going to do loose grass and just put it into a silage clamp, but I think I'm going to do silage bales. And it's a question I've got to ask myself. Do I use a set of mowers that windrow? Do I use a set of mowers that mow with a trailed windrower? Now there is a trailed windrower with a trailer attacher as well. So I could potentially mow windrow and bale all in one pass if i'm not oh that was nothing if i'm not too bothered about um about doing it all in one pass if i don't mind doing multiple passes i can i'm um, right i'm selling this there's a reason i bought it mobile because i was intending to do login do wood chipping with this take it around wherever we're going to do and i could do lime with it as well which i could sell because we had rock piles now we're staying and we're doing farming. I'm going to need lime for liming the fields. So as more of, of a permanent structure, I'm going to put in one of the um, debris crusher, lime crusher, lime producing, no, not lime crusher, lime producing a little debris crusher in that gap between the sawmill and my all-in-one production. Um, so I don't actually need that now. It was great while I had it, but I don't actually need it. So... We'll sell that, and that, which will help us towards, oh, we're over a million, we're millionaires, albeit briefly, um, that'll help us for getting some of our farming equipment, including potentially a harvester. Okay. Tables and chairs in. We'll worry about the rest in a minute. Right. Stop there. So our roller coaster, as you saw, I think I did record it. We went from a little bit up there. We'd kind of come around the top there. This bit here was done. Through under the tunnel there and all this up here. It's difficult to see because the bit behind it up to there is now under construction. I have been reliably informed. Uh, Baron Papa was chatting to me. Uh, and said that once the track's in, as it moves forward, he hasn't noticed anything 
or there hasn't been anything noticeable. He, he said he assumed as it went through, you'd get little things like kiosks and you know that kind of stuff appearing, but he hasn't noticed anything for a while. So I think once that structure, once that structure that side meets this structure this side and the actual footboards are on, I don't know if much is going to change. Um, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. I've got enough resources at the moment, I think, for that to continue. Boatyard, I'm going to have to check on that because I'm not sure where we're at with the boatyard at the moment. Um, so, do I just go mad and buy a whole load of equipment now? Or do I savour it and each episode we get something new? Just really drag it out. <laughs> it's not my intention to drag it out, it's just trying to work out what to do the best. Um, plus, I'll show you the login situation, that kind of thing where we're at. Um, I guess... A harvester. Um, we haven't really got a big trailer. We have got that. We're not going to get a lot of wheat off that field, but I suppose we could unload it into that, couldn't we? Oh, we don't have a silo either. Um, we're going to put a silo in. I might put my farming stuff all over where those fields are, actually. I said about doing cows, and my grass fields, I'm going to do hay, and I'm going to do um, silage. We will have some straw now, because my wheat field's ready to go. Let's buy some stuff. Let's, let's get some farming gear, shall we? So... Um, harvesters, I see what we've got available because I can't remember what I've got and what I haven't. Oh, uh, nothing. I mean, that's not to say nothing. I've got all of this, but I thought I had some modded harvesters. Uh, apparently not. We could afford to get one of these, but I wanted to do something. Let me try on. We'll have a look. There'll be something else available. We'll have to sort that out. Um, but as far as tools and equipment go, I want to get, we've got a plow, we're going to need fertilizer spreaders and everything. So the logging now will be funding all of this. Whereas I was making a load of money and I, I you know, get to a point, I was just buying logging equipment. Now we've got a whole lot of stuff to buy. So we've got the TARDIS M and XL. So the TARDIS XL is a 200,000 litre if you wanted it to be. Um, I think we'll go with um, the standard. 50,000 litres is fine for what we're going to be doing. Leave it on Trelleborg. Leave it on... Do I want a silage additive tank? No, because I'm doing silage bales. Main colour. Of course, design colour. Rim colour. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Don't want that. No plate. Okay. We'll buy that for 54 grand, which we're going to need. Um, yeah, so the question is... Mowers. We've got that set. We've got that. The Elo. The Novacat Crossflow. I think I used that one, the Kongskilda on Carmsden, but I have downloaded this. This is um, BM Modding and Wopster, the easy cut and collect. I think that does Windrow, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's just do it. Um, and as far as bales go, I was going to lease. Oh, where are we? The Vicon fast bale. I'm not going to buy that yet, I don't think. Okay, we don't want that license plate. Let's turn that off. Lease that. So, I've got everything I need at the moment for either collecting hay, grass, um, mowing and making silage bales. I can do that. So I should be able to. I don't think this attaches in a triple mower setup, does it? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I'll mow, leave the wind road, then we'll go over the fast bale, we'll get our silage bales. And then um, 
will do hay and collect with that. So what I'll probably do is mow, leave the windrow. I'll use that one I used on the Western Wilds, the LO TR300. Was it by Hoffy? That was a very small um, tether, basically. It worked really, really well. So we've got those. Do I just go out and start mowing now? I need to have a think about... Yeah, let's go and grab that. We'll start mowing. And then what we'll do is... I'll, while I'm doing that... We'll check the brochures and see what we can do with regarding the harvester. And uh, let's get some harvesting done before the weather turns. Not that it's going to turn, but we should be able to see this in a little bit better light as well. Oh, it looks so much better than snow now. I was really worried yesterday when it just snowed and snowed and snowed. And I thought, it snowed so much, the snow's going to be on the ground for absolutely ages. There you go, you can see the green a little bit better now. It's a John Deere special edition. Definitely, there's definitely a green to it. Swing by the boatyard, have a quick look there. How's that looking? Oh, we're outside. It's not ready yet. That could be ready tomorrow, though. Potentially, I'm just trying to think what's left to do. But it is outside. How are we looking for stuff that's needed? Wood beams, we have got. Floor tiles, we have got. Fabric, we have got. Yeah, I think we're on the final step. So that should be ready tomorrow at 2pm. Second boat out. So yeah, I'm thinking, because we've got a bit of spare ground around us, I might extend that field out, actually, right out to the edges. But I've got a sort of triangle of land just over there. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. Um, I'm going to do both of my grass fields. Let's do that. Oh, it feels good back to just farming, you know? Right, I need to... That. that does that, that does that, that does that. Right, so that should be right. Let's turn down, drop it down. That seems quite wide. Does the front one need adjusting as well? Do I need to bring that tab in a little bit at the front? some lights on, see what we're doing. Um, that one. Actually, I'm going to need that. I need to double check this. Ah, oh, look. There we go. We can bring that in if we want to. Put that up there. There is one for the front, isn't it? I think that's just set at that. Mid wide spread. What? Left swath, right swath, wide spreading, swath dropping. Oh, uh, yeah, hang on. Right, widespreading, mid-widespreading, spot dropping. There we go. That should be a bit tighter now. 
Oh, looks exactly the same. Doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't turn the front wheel. <laughs> I'm out of practice, people. I'm out of practice. That's a bit better. Yep, definitely better. I'll try and split it between the two fields so I get about a half and half. Or I really, what I should do is try and do it that I get more hay than... If I'm, I'm going to have straw swath off that field over there. Although, to be fair, I might still do my, my total mix ration. Like I said, I'm intending to do cows. So, do I leave the straw for bedding? I think I might. I mean, I can buy bales. I can probably go and buy straw as well. But I think... We'll try to. So if I leave the straw for bedding, it turns really well actually. Too well over here. So I'll show you what I mean. So all of this here that we bought, I could put a silo here actually. We've got room, haven't we? I'm thinking if I do, a, I could do a silo here. We could do down the little triangle there. We could have cows there maybe. Um, have a nice little farming setup. So yeah. Um, this side of the railway and this side of the railway we've got some dead standing which have been marked uh, we've got x's on the trees they want to cut down that's what they've gone for um but a lot of these they're concerned about them blowing onto the tracks and that kind of stuff so i've got to clear them i own the land it's now my responsibility to clear them um so as you can see all the ones marked with an x have got to go so i'll be taking those down i'll either be sending the lumber or dispersing it amongst my various different productions that require it but we'll get onto that as well at a later date, so I'm going to get this moved. I don't think, I don't think I can hire a worker on this. I'll do one run around the outside because I'm pretty sure, whilst it is a field and it does have grass on it, I mean, what I could do is plough it all out and reseed it if I wanted to to give myself a boundary so I could hire workers. But in all honesty, at the moment, I think we'll just stick with what we've got. I should turn that off now, can't I? It's better. We should get a fair bit of this. The same thing applies, as I was saying about harvesters, with the silo. Um, I, I tend to use the same ones. I try, I tend to go tried and tested. I will often go multi-fruit. I'll go for one that will hold everything. The Omatana ones are pretty good. Alien Jim's ones are pretty good. Omatana's are normally pretty cheap with large capacities. Um, I did think about going down the route of getting some of the ones that have um, that require augers, um, which I haven't really dabbled in much. Grain bins, you know, the flat bottom bins and stuff like that that require augers to load and unload, which I know is a bit more immersive, but I don't know. as you can imagine this will now continue Let's, I'll try and hire a worker I don't think it will no. you never know so I guess yeah we'll get the harvest done and then um We'll worry about, I think next episode we'll think about getting the silo in. We'll get the baling done on here. Because I'm just thinking time-wise. Will I have enough time to get work done in this episode? Might not. Um, I, don't, I don't want to rush everything. I have that habit of, oh, get, let's get 100 jobs done. Both fields, here and over there, are mown, windrowed. I have decided on the harvester. I have had a look through the brochures. I don't think I've ever used this manufacturer uh, for a harvester before. That's why I thought I'd use it. It's not the cheapest out there. The capacity is not the biggest out there, but it's something to be different. That's why I thought I'd go with it. I'm not sure. I'm sure people will come in or people will mention. It looks like an old or massy bearing. My mind has blanked as to which one. 
I'm also thinking now with all my new equipment I'm buying, I'm going to need to get some more shed and shelter space, which may have to be over there in my farming area. So if I keep my farming equipment separate, but for the time being I'm just going to have to just put it down somewhere, because otherwise I'm going to be out of space. I think I've got another, I've got two, at least two, if not three, furniture pallets over there at my all-in-one production, plus some more fabric, I think. And I would imagine the sheep have produced some as well. Uh, no, no. Just drop that off. Put that to one side there. So, I'm going to just, I'm not going to get a massive header on this one either. Uh, we'll get that baler for, that'll be the next episode though. We're going to do the baling and making hay. Like I said, I'm going to have to do that. Oh, there's so much to do now. It's that thing, isn't it? I was getting to that point, I think, okay, what, I can get more forestry equipment, I'm going to do more forestry, be more logging, more loading logs, more delivering logs. But now, it's that thing of, I've missed doing the farming, it opens it all up again, and I've got this list of things that I need to buy, that I need to do, that I want to get, and it's brilliant. I'm, I'm pleased I decided, because like I said, I like this map a lot, and... It'd be a pity to leave it now. Someone has said, oh, you've only just got started. And they're right. I, f I feel like I have, really. So, the question is, the people that have left this Let's Play, that have said, oh, I don't want to see any more login, are they going to click on it to watch? Now I've changed to farming. I don't know. Spread the word, people. Spread the word. So, we're going to go with a versatile RT520. Uh, this is by Exoblode modding i think i'm gonna go miters not with indicators with crawler tracks i think don't want a license plate uh nine thousand liter capacity is it oh no eleven thousand what i think it was nine. Oh, it was on the other ones I was looking at eleven thousand nine hundred eighty one not the hugest capacity out there but it's 520 horsepower the 520 uh let's buy that for 349 grand and as far as header goes I'm going to go, I've um denied about this, and I thought about maybe doing what I did before and going with a tool height. Oh no, I went tool height control header before, that's a point, on Griffin, because it was in sale. Oh man, look, I just spent how much on 130, 140 grand on a set of mowers, and they got the Chrome Big M450 for sale. I should have checked the sale items, didn't even cross my mind. No, I sort of sorry, I got. I still saved myself a little bit of money. Uh, do I want to get a mixer wagon? What's the capacity now? Twenty six thousand liters. So one hundred eleven grand self propelled. I might get a trailed one actually, with a larger capacity. There's that forty five thousand liter one. I thought I'd have a look. It's it's worth checking, isn't it? Um, do I go tool height control for header, and then I can just set it at six miles an hour, with the ability to go faster if I wanted to, or do I just go for a standard header? Like I said, I'm not going to go, I think I'm going to go for Powerflow or Dynaflex. The same width, uh, 12s. Or we could go down to a 9.2. I think we might go... It doesn't actually matter, I haven't got huge fields, have I? I might go with that, you know. 52 grand, 9.2 meter, let's do that. So, yeah, the back end of this, I'm trying to think what models was it? I want to say Massey, although it didn't have um, tracks. And then I'm sure there was a fence version of very similar. But then that's the thing, a lot of tracks and manufacturers and companies, especially that old ones under the Agco brand, that kind of thing, they're all using similar technology and similar designs, I suppose. But so we're going versatile. Sounds quite loud, actually. Uh, let's put that head or the reel down anyway a little bit. I'll bring it in a bit. That's fine. Beacon on. We'll take the back road over. We'll open up when we get there. Uh, I need to check straw swath. So what I'm thinking, well, we're going to be doing farming, we're going to be doing crops. 
obviously my cotton field is going to be ready to harvest at some point we're going to do the cotton so we can make sure we ensure we have more fabric moving forward now i'm not saying i'm not going to build any more boats moving forward i'm just going to stop at the two i've done focus more towards the the um, roller coaster that's got off the road here um so as far as fabric goes moving forward if i build up a head of steam of fabric and i've got a load when i then decide okay i'm going to do another boat i've got it all there so my sheep will continue going now the good thing as well is if I do a load of silage and a load of hay, my grass will regrow again, of course, but I can always feed the sheep hay. So I haven't got to worry about the fact I've cut both the fields now, and if I transform you know, one lot into hay and the other lot into silage, it's not going to be a problem because I can still feed the sheep. I'm just looking at all the space I've got around that field once the sunflower harvest done. But anyway, yeah, so as far as it's not going to be massive crop stuff, I think what I'm going to do these fields I'm going to use for animals so obviously the wheat I'll have a load of wheat to one side I can get chickens out of the way again so I can get chickens going I've got sheep already and if I do the top mix ration I can get cows going pigs is always a little bit of a tricky one I tend to go down the route buying pig food in the end selling crop and buying pig food because it's just sort of an easier route to go I've got a load of sunflower in that field but I think moving forward any crops I put into these fields are going to be looking towards feeding animals i'm definitely going to extend this field i'm going to once it's harvested i'm going to plow out and come much closer to the edge i'm definitely going to use this area down here because this is nice and flat here cows on this bit possibly some chickens depends what size cow pen i use down here as well i'm thinking silo up along that side up near the trees up there and if i've got enough room maybe stick a shed in maybe so, let's put the beacon off, let's open up the harvester. I might have a look and see, um, in, like I say, in the brochures. I don't think we've got any versatile headers, but we do have some headers where you can change the, uh, the manufacturer. I'll have a look through it because there might be one that will allow me to. I mean, it doesn't matter, I've got mix and match. So, if me cutting grass and wind rowing wasn't considered proper farming, which it is, but if it wasn't, now we are. We're harvesting a crop and this isn't a contract, this is my field, I own it. And when we're done, we're going to have to repurpose the field, which means we're going to have to be doing, I think it's going to need ploughing, it's going to need liming, it's going to need all the stuff doing to it. So I, I'm going to need to get that lime production up and running. I've got a load of stones or stone piles up by the north sawmill where i've been cutting the trees down all that land up there that i own i haven't touched any of the rock piles up there so i can get up there with the hydraulic breaker we'll get a load of the stone from there we'll deliver it to the debris crusher and we'll get some lime made so i can line the fields i don't need huge amounts because i haven't got a lot of fields at the moment then we'll need to look at our fertilizing options what route am i going to go down but i think there's definitely a little bit of room there we can stick in a silo the only problem is can't remove that fencing. I know you can drive through and there's no collision on it, but actually, this is going to be a lot more. We're going to get a lot more of this than I thought. I think because it was fully fertilised, and we should get a lot straw off this as well. So, again, I'm going to be doing hay and I'm going to be doing straw. So, I'm thinking probably I might go with the hay loft as well, actually. If I get a multi fruit silo, I can stick it all in that silo, which I've done before. The Omatana ones I'm, I, I quite like. Um, there's a whole load. There's the Bavarian pack, uh, the Hessian farm pack. There's a few that I like the multi fruit silos from them. But do I go more traditionally with a hayloft? And like I say, on Western Wild, I did multi-fruit silos but I also did that production silo so I could put my grass in there and have it turn into hay but I, th I think on this one I'm actually going to make hay and then collect the hay I, just because I want to like I say I've missed doing the farming I've missed doing farming jobs so I, whereas you know you kind of get to a point sometimes especially on western wilds and I had so many fields so many big fields and you just want to get the jobs done quicker you then look at processes to speed that up on this I think I just want to do the processes I'm not, I'm not too bothered. I'm 
could extend this a little bit further. Oh, there's lots of rocks there as well. So yeah, we should have plenty of rocks so I can make myself some lime. I could look at options for making my own fertiliser again, but I think because we've only got a few fields, I think buying it's probably going to be an easier route. But... I don't need a trailer on it. Oh no, I was going to use my lorry, wasn't I? I was going to say, I didn't think I'd have that much, but actually, I think we might get a fair bit. So, I shall continue harvesting this. Next episode, episodes moving forward. Can you tell? I'm buzzing, I'm excited. We've got so much to do now. Um, the logging will continue. I've still got some transport jobs to do. I've got, you know, I can still deliver my iron ore. I've got my metal still being produced. One of the iron ore runs I did yesterday, I topped up the um, furnace. The iron furnace has been topped up, so that's good to go. A lot of my productions are just storing stuff up at the moment because the uh, boatyard and the roller coaster are at a point now where they're not using as much as they were, obviously, other processes. As they go through the stages, they will, but at the moment, I'm keeping up with them okay. Uh, did I put the thumbnail up? I'm trying to think. Not thumbnail, but the screenshot. When I bought this plot of land and I came over here to check it all out, I found a collectible just by that little building. Sorry. Spoiler alert. I found, found one by that building. If I haven't put it up, I'll put it up here. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're going to enjoy it moving forward. Like I said, if you know anyone that's, that's left the Let's Play because it was just logging, let them know. We're farming again. If you have enjoyed it. If you are enjoying it please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet i know i keep saying this please please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching